Good day, boys and girls. Thank you for coming back. Now, today we are going to touch on something on radioactivity. This is the final chapter in Form 5. And the subtopic that I'm going to teach is on half-life. Good news for you. Half-life is the easiest topic in the whole world. It's the easiest. Anybody can understand it. That's why I'm giving you this quote. The physics is as simple as ABC. All right. After this lesson, I'm sure all of you will say, Yes, sir, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Just a quick reminder again. When we revise physics, it is not just reading from page 1 to page 400. No. That way of revision would not be effective. What you must do is to keep on answering questions. So even as I revise with you on Half-Life, I am taking a question from 2006. And this is the question from paper 1, number 49. It reads, The initial mass of radioactive element is 10 grams, and its half-life is 6 days. Which of the following statements about the mass of the radioactive element is true? So to understand this, we basically need to understand the definition of half-life. It is very important. Now, in terms of the mass of a radioactive element or substance, half-life is actually the time taken for half of the mass to disintegrate. That's all. So what do I mean by this? Now, the easiest way would be to look at it and to try to understand it from a picture point of view. Okay, let me bring you to the calculation now. Now, let me just explain by giving you another example first, before we go to the question. So, let's say I start with an object, or rather a substance, radioactive substance. I start with 100 grams. Let's say it's half-life is two days. So after two days, what will happen? According to the definition, after two days, which is the half-life, half of 100 grams would have decayed, disintegrated. So how much is left? So you can tell me it's 50 grams. I draw a smaller cube. 50 grams. So now another half-life has gone. Two days. After another two days, how much is left? Half of 50 grams gone. So, I can even see, I can even read your lips. Alright, you are saying 25. Very good. 25 grams. And so on and so forth. So, which means that if I start off with 100 grams of a radioactive substance, after 4 days, I get 25 grams left. The half-life is 2 days. Half-life 2 days. After 2 days, I get 50 grams. Uncle, where's the formula? <laughs> Good news, no formula. No need to use formula. Just understand the concept and then you use a diagram and draw it. Uncle, in examination, can draw diagrams or not? can because your diagrams basically explains to your teacher that you understand the concepts so you draw diagrams to explain very good now you say i understand let's go back to the question ah, let's look initial mass of a radioactive element is 10 grams all right so now we start with 10 grams we start with 10 grams I just draw a box, okay? So we start with 10 grams. Half-life, 6 days. So after 6 days, what happens? After 6 days, sorry, after 6 days, how many grams left? 
What would your answer be? After six days, it will be five grams left. Another six days. So simple, the concept. How many grams left? You'll be telling me 2.5 grams. If you look at the question, it has answers before and after the 10 grams. So let us go backwards now. Before we got 10 grams, all right, before we got 10 grams, how many days of half-life? Six days is the half-life. So six days before the 10 grams, how many grams do we get? I'm sure you can tell me it is 20 grams. Okay, check. 20 grams we, from here, after six days, we have 10 grams. Because six days is the half-life. Another six days before the 20 grams, how many grams would that be? 40. You are telling me it's 40. Very good. This is as easy as ABC. Simple. Don't need calculators. You know, but you, but you must, I'm sorry, it's not 40 days. It is 40 grams. Okay. Now, you must not use mental calculation. I have seen many students, they try to do it in the air and then they make a mistake. You must draw. Write it down. Six days, the half-life. Six days. All right, let's start all over again. 40 grams. After six days, 20 grams. After another six days, 10 grams left. After another six days, 5 grams left. Another six days, 2.5 grams left. Okay? So, this is our working for the question. Let us look at the answer. Alright? What is the answer? A. Six days earlier, the mass is 20 grams. Six days earlier, the mass is 20 grams. Six days earlier, the mass is 20 grams. Is it correct? Yes. And let us check the other answers. 12 days earlier, the mass is 80 grams. 12 days earlier, the mass is... Okay, we started here. We started here, don't forget. 12 days earlier, the mass is 80 grams. So we know that B is the wrong answer. Now I'm going through with you so that we understand the concept as well. Now what about C? Six days later, mass 2.5 grams. Six days later, we start here. This is the point we start. Six days later, it should be 5 grams. So C is the wrong answer. It's good to go through all the answers for revision. So we know that C is wrong, B is wrong, A is correct. Nevertheless, we still want to check. This is wrong, wrong, A is correct. 12 days later, the mass is 5 grams. D. 12 days later, what is the mass? 12 days later, the mass is 2.5 grams. So, you know that the answer, D is wrong as well. So, when you do revision, boys and girls, do it this way. Step by step, even after getting the correct answer, go through the wrong answers and you must understand why the wrong answers are wrong. Alright, let me sum up. Number one, understand and write down the definition of half-life. Number two, when you answer questions on half-life, you must write it out, draw the diagrams, sketch it. It's very simple diagrams. And these diagrams actually explain the meaning of it. And from there, you can calculate and you can understand the questions involving half-life. So with that, I would like to say, Thank you very much for your attention and may God bless you. Bye. See you again next time.